What is going on everybody? It is your boy Dylan Tox back at with another video and uh, apparently Soldier Boy has still not responded to Adam Calhoun who wants to box him. All right, so Soldier Boy, what's up? You said you fight any rapper. How you doing? I will fight you for a salami sandwich and one can of beer. Go blow this dude's page up with my name. Tell him. And he also may have just been exposed for purchasing fake jewelry in the middle of the mall. Middle of the not big soldier. Hell no, nah, man. Not big soldier. Middle of the ain't no way. Man, ain't no way. I went to Washington. Hey, you know ain't no play with me. Hey, that shit crazy. These niggas just be Instagram, man, man. Fake baller. That shit crazy. Walk in that same jewelry store that you just left in the mall and try to buy the Cartier, nigga. That motherfucker, 35000 The Rolex, 30000 Everything over there real. They sell real ice in the mall. Taman Calhoun has challenged Supreme Patty to a boxing match after hearing that Supreme Patty needed somebody to face him on an upcoming event. What's up, guys? Patty here. Yo, y'all know what happened with me and Lil Zan, the little bar shit. We went through setting up a fight with Barstool Sports, Rough and Rowdy, it's coming up in three weeks. He backs out, Ha Ha Davis was ready, he calls us, says he's ready. Then he turns into a pussy, he's not ready, so now I need an opponent. Which Taman Calhoun did not get picked, and Taman Calhoun had this to say about it. I think it's hilarious, me and my pops were the top comments. Also not to mention the hundreds of tags that everybody put out. These are the types of guys that say they fight, but walk around with security. Ryan Upchurch had to let everybody know who's about that rap shit. For anybody watching this, I know some reactors don't like listening to country, bro. Country's obviously kind of boring to fucking react to. Rap is more fun if you ask me personally. Yeah. But, bro, this ain't no fucking country track, dog. This is a rap track. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> just, just a single track or you about to drop a whole thing? What's up? Man, I, I did I not just walk in this mug and record this like that? I just walked in and just spit it. I'm fucking about to put it on YouTube. Already? It's it's called The Reminder. Uh-oh. You feel me? Hey, Stoner. What's up, dog? Nothing came here to take my belt off and whoop some of these bitch ass rappers. Charge. Yeah, I'm back, motherfuckers. Hey, Mac, it's my little fucking profile picture. I ain't popping up on my stories. <laughs> Charge! Look at these dudes! was fire that's a fire ass hook bro and he's throwing shots at rappers i'm all about that shit i love to see a little bit of controversy i love to see a little bit of controversy speaking of controversy tom mcdonald just put out a new song called brainwash that shit is amazing that shit is so truthful and real like talking about how all the screens we watch are brainwashing with propaganda the government wanting to take your guns but them having guns themselves I mean, this got to be the ballsiest song he put out. Ballsiest song he put out. I sent him a message. I said, dude, this is the most riskiest song you've ever made, and I fucking love it. And he said, thank you. It's time. Like, it's time to be risky. It's time to be ballsy. If we ain't ballsy and we ain't taking risks now, we ain't never going to take risks. It is definitely going to be a controversial moment for Tom McDonald and probably one of the biggest moments ever. 